Please, you can address him on there. Who? McCloyd. McCloyd. Yeah. <laughs> take that on drive. What's his name again? Adam. Oh. Let him know what we're doing. Driving Leonard. Yes. Oh, we just finished the podcast. We're on Congress Avenue in Boynton Beach. Hey, Corey. Sir Gilligan. That's a non-cookie cutter name. I'm seeing a lot of non-cookie cutter names. I love it. None of that creep. Well, what did uh, the pinworm call it? A... a uh, the fuck did he call it? A, a Snapchat rapper or some shit? Oh, that triple X. Andrew's taking a step back and some time off. Everything's good with him, although... We're actually going to Andrew's house right now to give him the memory card. He's going to upload... He's still going to upload the podcast. Yeah, I'm actually kind of sad. Well, thank you, Gary. Not much. Getting back into the freaky things of life. I was at work at the hospital when Michael Jackson died and everyone was crying and this and that. Oakmont Bakery, yeah, I remember that place. I'm sure you do. Hey, Danik. I know how to deal with the porch monkeys. Stop, man. How do I celebrate Gay Pride Month? Thanks, Adam. Yeah, about a 3X. Adam, Adam, your messages came through on my phone. About a 3X. Usaflex. Let's go. Be a freak. I'd love to, Rick. No, we're setting up a Patreon account. I'm just doing a little temporary work. You know, some guys reached out to me. They knew my situation. I have a 10. You want it? A 10, 10, 10. I didn't train anything. I'm doing legs tomorrow. Yes, Christina, I love you. It's a flex. Big porch monkey shout out. <laughs> you can't always say what the fuck they're asking. I couldn't fight him. I couldn't do it. Oh. Andrew Kalora, I couldn't do it. Why would they want you to fight him? They're fucking stupid. Vlad, when you flush wipes, they clog pipes. Not when you get flushable wipes, stupid. <laughs> What's that all about? Flush them because I use flushable wipes. Scott, yes. whoever gets a meeting with me and Christina, I couldn't, I couldn't thank you more than enough, and even in eternity, I couldn't thank you more than enough. She's just what, just what I need, that purity, that beauty, that feeling of, hell, I got up this early to watch a rerun of Mystery Hunters. At 7 o'clock. And I felt the heartwarming feel of my soul as soon as she came on. That voice. That look in her eye. That accent. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't describe it. Do you have uh, DVDs? Or I have a movie of her. Oh, okay. and well, Actually, the, and the show is on Spike TV. It's about eight years ago called Blue Mountain State. Where she's a cheerleader. But it was just... For the first episode. That's it? Yeah. Thank you. I love her too. I might bring back the beard. I tell Brad that. He knows about them shooting, unfortunately. What's that? How these blacks like to shoot around here. Yeah, he knows firsthand. Yeah, I'm using the power rack. I'm using it tomorrow. I did back last week. I know Seth Faroja, yeah. You're right, that triple X cookie cutter. He's only 20 years old, man. Well, he's a cookie cutter, he's on the wrong path. And when you play that kind of path, that's what's going to happen. What message did he give that was productive to society, maniacs? I'd like to know, really. Go out there and look like an idiot. Talk like an idiot, act like an idiot, conduct yourself like an idiot, and get paid? I mean, what the hell's that all about? That's what I just I need mean, to put food fucking, on my table. That's the fucking world we're in now. That's pretty sad. That's true, but that's pretty sad. 
What do you learn from that creep? Podcast was excellent. There's no such thing as hookers. Women are by nature. You know, that's what they do. They have sex and men take care of them. One way or another, whether it's protection, food, money, clothes. I don't like the word hooker, it's cookie cutter. Yep. Space for it. Yeah, that's good. You gotta get out there in space. There's gotta be something out there and explore a little better. Obama put a stop to that NASA. No, that's cookie cutter stuff. There's nothing proud to do it. Again, that's some of something What's degenerate gay pride month. You don't celebrate sexual deviancy and degeneracy. Not saying I don't like to engage in it, but <laughs> I'm not gonna go around with a flag and say what I'm doing is right and parading in front of kids and telling them that it's okay to be like that. No. It's not. If I like a train, it's because I'm a non-cookie cutter. They get me off. But as far as what these people do with that, to me, that should be illegal. Because a kid at a young age doesn't know what he's going to be in there throwing this at him. Another option is to be a fucking, you know, homosexual and be in parades and stuff. No one wants to see that. You let do that stuff, do it in the privacy of your own home. Of course, I plan on doing 10, 10, 10s. For the enjoyment of the maniacs in the world. <laughs> right, but I'm not going to ever have a <laughs> being a pride day. Even I'm sure after a year of doing it, they'll probably want me in the yeah, grand. It doesn't affect you if they do that. They'll, they'll probably be. March if they want to march. They'll probably want me for a grand march or the Lake Worth Gay Pride next year if I do it, but <laughs> it's not going to happen. They're a bunch of cookie cutters like everything else. March for what? No one, no one really gives a damn. Plum, Pennsylvania, oh my god. Got into fights with guys from Plum. Plum, PA, know it well. I ate at the all you can eat buffet today. Three plates of beef, noodles, rice, potatoes, potatoes. and I had six slices of watermelon and four scoops of chocolate ice cream and two <laughs> pitchers of water for $9.95. You hear that, Dale? Nine ninety-five. Dale gets some grits and gravy and <laughs> pork rinds for nine ninety-five. And dumplings. You know, you got to get Dale to tell you the story. He was almost named Grady, Grady Chance, instead of Dale. He was that close <laughs> to being named Grady. He'll tell you the story. Grady. Is that a good name for a kid? Grady Chance. I my kid Grady. What, what the hell names a kid Grady? Yeah, it might be a fucking family name. You know. Yeah. Them fancy eating in North Carolina. Yeah, fancy everything. Whoa, look at that. Holy shit, how the fuck did they do that? These people are fucking clever. Very impressive. That's actually a hooked cross that was used in the Hindu religion for thousands of years. And it was also a symbol of good luck. That's where the National Socialist Party adopted it. They used to put swastikas on the Christmas trees. Because, you know, Germany's the first country that really got into the Christmas decorations and the trees and all that. It's a German custom. But when the National Socialists took over, they put those on the they put those on the top of the trees. It's, it's amazing. They lit, like lit them, lit them up or whatever. Dale looks like a Dale Grady chance. Like, built like a deck of cards. Jay Cutler, Donald Trump has more personality in his toenail clipping than Jay Cutler has in his whole cookie-cutter, porn-addicted body. <laughs> Big Rob just threatened Jay with legal action. That's a twist. For what? I don't know. Big Rob to go crawl back under the rock he came out from. Fucking 
Get some tan, 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 tans. You guys are more full of shit than anybody. I'm surprised the Trump.